Hello everyone. Welcome back to the maths class of Mount Litra Z School, Surat. In today's session, I am going to discuss Chapter 6, Geometry. Now what is geometry? You might be thinking, right? So, what is geometry? Geometry is the branch of mathematics that is connected, concerned with the properties and relationships of points, lines, angles, curves, surfaces and solids. The visual study of shapes as you can see in the given figure. The visual study of shapes, sizes, patterns and position. Right? So, what is geometry? So, it is visual study of shapes, sizes, patterns and position. Now, basic concepts of lines, rays and angles. So, with this video, you will be able to get to know what is line, rays, angles, even line segments, points, what are those. Now, what is point? A single exact location in space. Here, you can see this. This is the position of point, the symbol of dot. A point is represented with dot and label with a letter. This is how we represent point A. Now, every time this point name won't be A. Right? So, here if I put a dot, accordingly it may change its name also. So, now this time it is B point. If I change this location and point name also, so that is C. So, here I can see three points. One is point A, second is point B, third is point C. Right? Now, Ray, part of a line having only one point. Right? So, what one more characteristics we have of Ray? It has one fixed point. And from another side, it may be extended. We can extend. So, it is the limitation of a ray from one side only. We can extend this. And another side, it would be fixed place. Now, this is ray A and written as with this symbolic sign. Fine. So, how you will write A and over this a symbol of ray. So, what is ray? A part of a line having only one point. From one side you can extend it and another side it would be having fixed place. Fine. From another side you cannot extend it. Now, next we have lines. Can you see in this pattern various lines we have? So, here different types. Line, line segment, ray, may be perpendicular, parallel or intersecting. Now, what is line? As you can see in the figure, it has no beginning or and. Can you see this? Yeah. That means it shows from both the sides we can extend it. Fine. It has no beginning. Here you cannot see its beginning point. Here also you cannot see its ending point. Continues infinitely in both directions. So, from this side also it may be extended. And from here side, this side also may be extended. Can be illustrated by drawing arrows at each end. Can you see this? Both of the sides. Yeah. So, symbolically we write this way. So, here if I give name to them, this is a line. A, B. So, symbolically how you are going to write A, B and over it this sign. 
this is the way how we write symbolically line clear next we have line segment now it has a beginning point can you see the difference line segment we have a beginning point and end point also here this is beginning this is ending so this is a line segment line segment on a shape are called solids by using these line segments in this figure i have used three segments line segment this is one line segment this is second and the downward this is third now it's a shape and this particular shape called solid side now can be found in many shapes fine so what's the definition of line segment it has a beginning point let me show to you that is a line segment so if i give name to them xy so here i have a line segment xy now symbolically how you are going to write you are going to write xy and over it a small representation that's the way to write line segment clear next we have a parallel can you see these tracks lines in the same plane they do not intersect or cross each other can you see this if i extend this yeah from this side also from that side it do not intersect or cross each other that is one characteristics of parallel line from both of the sides you can extend it but when you extend it they do not intersect or cross each other at any point now intersecting two or more lines two or more lines that meet at a point let me show you by a figure here these are two lines uh, let me give name ab and cd so ab and cd can you see in this figure they are going to meet at a point this is a point meeting points so a point of intersection you may call it intersecting point so if i consider this o so here o is intersecting point intersecting point or point of intersection and two lines are going to cut at a fixed point and what are those lines ab and cd clear very interesting and easy chapter these are the basic features of geometry thank you bye all of you rest we are going to discuss in live class